everyone! So today, I'm gonna be making fried pickles. Specifically, air fryer fried pickles. I'm gonna be trying out a recipe from Taste of Home. Got it pulled up on my Chromebook. This is the cheapest laptop I could possibly get for my freshman year of college. Thanks for go Mary. I'm trying to figure out the best way for me to film this. I've done a lot of, like, a weird amount of cooking-related videos on this channel, um, mostly because I think cooking is just something I have to do. So growing up, my brain was always like, well, if you've got to do it, it might as well be content, which... Is that what I'm doing right now? Perhaps. Well, I had to cut his nails today, so he's been kind of, like, mad with me, but Mushka is here. Little baby boy. My little, like, secret ninja. Oh, he's actually really snoozy right now. I'm gonna have to feed you soon, too. Feed the Mary, and then feed the Mushka. Also, it might look like I'm not in my kitchen right now. This is actually... My kitchen counter has, like, a nice little bar section. I love my kitchen. Kitchen... Kitchen pan right here. Love this space. Um, I'm just... I have the camera facing this way because it was the slightly better lighting option. Um, if I had it facing the other way where I was, like, inside my little, little kitchen area, it's just really bad lighting, so <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do to fix that. Yeah, fried pickle recipe. It's gonna have a flour mixture, panko bread crumbs, and an egg as the like holder. Um, you could pretty easily make this to be vegan if you just replace the egg with like just egg or a egg replacement. And I've already cut up my pickles. So I can start drying them out a little. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they gorgeous? We love pickles. So yeah, to cover what other ingredients in the flour mixture, there's all-purpose flour. Uh, also, the recipe asked for cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and dill. I love spices, so thankfully I pretty much already had most of these. I'm also gonna add in some smoked paprika because I just like it and I think it'll be good. And I wonder if you can hear that train. Can you hear that train? I once again live somewhere very close to a train. <laughs> yes, the pickles I'm using are the kosher dill holes from this brand. I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing my mixtures. If you do hear background sounds through the process of me recording this, that is probably my laptop. I'm actually rendering another Legend of the Phoenix video, which I'm glad is being pretty well received just because like, I know I've had a lot hard time getting content on YouTube, so it's just nice when I, I do manage to get something on there and um, people like it. So this recipe says it's for 32 dill pickle slices, which is like three pickles worth of pickles. I don't know. Part of me wants to make a little bit less of whatever they're asking of me. Also, they asked for three eggs, which is so much egg and like I can't, you know, I just can't support that. <laughs> So I have half a cup of flour, about probably a little less. Then I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of all of my spices, I believe. Yeah, that looks right. So, pop the plastic off my cayenne, which this is one of the spices that I definitely have like multiple bottles of because I use it. Same with curry, usually <laughs> I have multiple curry spice bottles. I don't even know if I've used this, I'll just like, give it a little paprika thing. This stuff just even smells good. So two tablespoons it wants of the fresh snipped dill. Well, obviously my dill isn't fresh because I haven't been anywhere where I can get fresh groceries in a hot second. I get, well, I've been to grocery outlet, so like that is what that is. I don't know, I would just rather, ooh, ooh. That's fine. More flavor than less flavor, I feel like. Especially because they recommend serving it with ranch and I feel like ranch is a good way to like dole some flavors if they're too strong. So I want two tablespoons. Oh, that's so much dill. Okay. So that'll be six. I don't think I need that much. Okay. I don't know. So that's six teaspoons, which seems like such an immense amount of dill. And I get that it's like a fried pickle, so maybe, I don't know, that's the point, but I just also want to add in a little bit more of like my reds. <laughs> you know, rainbow plate, everyone. You gotta, you gotta get the variety of colors in there. It's also just gonna use up so much of my dill. Like, I don't know, I feel like this is a fine amount, what I have here. 
No, I don't, I don't want to put too much more in. I'm gonna cap it off there. Next. Oh, oh. I did this very wrong. So instead of putting it all in the flour mixture, I was supposed to put just flour and salt. And then with the eggs, I was supposed to put the cayenne and garlic powder. And then with the panko, I was supposed to add the dill. So I've just done things very wrong to start out with. So I'm no longer following this recipe, but that's okay. So I'm just a little bit dumb, but that's okay. Like, I think this is still gonna be fine. It's just not the way they intended me to make it. <laughs> Whoops. Next in my like medium small bowl is what I'm gonna play putting my panko, which I got at Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market. My Lord and Savior right now. I love me some gross out. And I should have been mixing the dill in with this. And uh, obviously I didn't, so it's fine. And then last but not least, in my smallest bowl, I'm putting my egg, which should also include pickle juice, cayenne, and garlic powder. I'm obviously just gonna be putting the pickle juice in here because I've already, you know, kind of taking care of the rest. All right, how much pickle juice am I supposed to put in? Two tablespoons. So. That should be good. Let's begin the fry. This is my air fryer, it's Philips air fryer. I got it for free um, through Facebook Marketplace, which was how I'm trying to live most of my life now. It, uh, it works fine, as far as I can tell so far. That's sweet. So in a turn of events, I've basically just broken this tripod um, and dropped my camera onto a plate of pickles. Everything's fine, as far as I can tell. I just can't film at a down, down looking angle, but I have my phone in my pocket. So the, the content, it's gonna look slightly different. So here I have my three mixtures and the air fryer. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna kinda like go for it. It wants me to grease the air fryer basket. I'm using, um, what is this? Oh, algae oil, because this is what was available at grocery outlet. Bargain market. <laughs> All right, so starting off with my like my first pickle friend here. Let's just uh, make sure he gets thoroughly coated in the only seasoning really involved in this entire journey. Eggy boy. And then breaded boy. And you'll notice some of these are thicker pickle slices, some of them are thinner because I couldn't decide what would be better in this situation. So I, I got a little bit of both. And you know, maybe the pickles still being a little wet is gonna work in favor of them picking up more of the, the spices here. And again, this wanted three eggs. I don't think I'm gonna need three eggs worth of egg. Here you go tripod for my phone again. I don't know where I went. I thought I would find it while moving, but you, you, you just don't find some things after you move. So that's what they look like in there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this basket now with them, and uh, we'll be back when it's full and we can fry them. So while I'm doing this, I figured I would just go ahead and um, talk a little bit because I haven't, I don't know, done like a chatty video in a second? I don't know, I was just thinking about my childhood. I used to do a good amount of like baking videos and most of the videos I'm thinking of now I think are private on my account. If I haven't already talked about this, I did go through and I privated all of the videos from when I was in high school for kind of two reasons. One is I don't talk to all of the people that I went to high school with and that could have been recorded in those videos anymore and I like don't like the idea of them basically like not having consented to being in those videos and then like still being in them and them being online forever from when we were like young and that just seems like I don't know not a fun idea for people so that's one of the reasons and then also it's just like embarrassing I don't know I had someone come into one of my streams and like watch my YouTube videos for the first time and they immediately went back to the oldest video and I was like oh yeah I have a lot of kind of cringy I don't want to say cringy, but I was just like young and you know, I really loved YouTube and a lot of those older videos just like, they were me kind of figuring out what I wanted to do in terms of YouTube. And so 
I don't know. I find them not super fun. <laughs> this is fun. Um, not exactly what I want people to, to be able to see on my channel. So, you know, slightly curating my content a little bit more to be more representative of my adult self, seeing as it has now been almost, since it has been five years since I graduated high school. There we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying living in my new apartment. It is very spacious. There's still a lot of like unpacking and stuff that I'm doing and like everywhere is a little bit of a mess still right now. We have this great dolphin picture though. Um, and yeah, and, and Kitty is doing well so far. He's such a like absolute goofy sweetheart that I love. I feel just like so lucky that I've been able to adopt him. I miss having cats so much. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty like lonely a lot of the time just with COVID and like not many of my friends live up here still anyways. So that's been hard at times. Um, looks like the battery for the camera is dying. So maybe I should give recording a break while I finish, a, finish this up. Here's our first pickle badge going in the pickle inator at 400 degrees or, oh well, my hand is so gross. Oh God, let's dial it to about around 10 minutes. All right, I fried them for around 10 minutes, flipped them, fried them for 10 more minutes, and here is what they look like. Very golden. Hopefully it's good. Um, <laughs> Let's, let's go ahead and uh, plate these. And by plate, I mean put in a bowl and then on a plate and then make the dish. Now, the recipe does say serve immediately. Um, so, and I don't know how hot they are. Ooh. It's crispy. All right, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. I guess I'll go for a plain, a plain bite the first time and then try out some ranch. Oh, so hot. So the burning did completely come off the pickle. I think partly due to um, my personal reaction to the situation. Oh, and he's here. You wanna try a fried pickle? They're done? Yeah, in the first half. I thought, I thought these were the ones <laughs> like, they, they don't the look done at okay. all, Mary. They, they might be pretty hot. I just tried to eat one. Hmm. <laughs> That's your opinion. They're good and I think we should make them thicker. Like these ones are nice and wide, mm -hmm. but like the breading's really thick, so a lot of the pickle taste is getting lost and just like breading. You should try eating it without the ranch. I don't know, I feel the one I ate was a very pickly tasting experience. It definitely tastes the pickle. I just feel like the breading's pretty thick. It is. The main reason for that being, I put all the spices into the flour mixture, instead of spreading them out as I should have. So I think I went a little too ham on making sure if they were all coated with flour. Yeah. A lesson learned. 